Whatever you give permission or consent to be true about your life, about what you get out of life, about how people treat you, that is what's going to be reflected in your outside circumstances. That's according to Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. But how exactly does a Law of Assumption apply to your life? How can you start tapping into the power of the Law of Assumption that Neville Goddard so adamantly talked about? In this video, I'm gonna be using this bowl to help you understand exactly what the Law of Assumption is and and more importantly, how you can start tapping into this power now by better understanding how it works so you can start to make the shifts and create the life that you really love to live. So let's get started. As promised, here is that bowl to help you understand how the law of assumption works. Well, Neville Goddard said an assumption is anything you give permission and consent to be true about you. So you could have an assumption that everybody you meet is going to abandon you. So we're gonna put that in here. You could have an assumption that you are not smart and you're generally not capable of doing whatever it is that you desire to do and having that dream life. You could have an assumption that you are not worthy. We're gonna put that in here. Maybe you have an assumption that no matter what, you are just simply not enough. So you could have all sorts of different assumptions, but I've decided to focus on just these. These are more personal to me. And then you have them in this bowl. And this bowl is going to represent your self-concept. So the collection of all these different assumptions is going to be held in the container of your self-concept, how you see yourself. When it comes to what this looks like in the outside world and why the hell should you care, well, let's look at some examples. Well, if you notice here, I have all the assumptions that are in our self-concept here. This is gonna be the non-physical. And then how does that express? Well, in your life right now, you might see a lot of instability. It's making you feel like you're not enough because you are enough, then you'd have stability. Maybe a lot of inconsistency when it comes to romantic relationships. And it gives you that fear that you're gonna be abandoned in it. It pushes on the buttons like, oh, look, there's inconsistency. Everyone's gonna abandon me. Uh, maybe it's about lack. Um, no matter what you do, there's just not quite enough resources and you don't feel able or smart. So then that, that gets churned up and what do you feel? You feel like, oh, when you experience lack, then boom, the assumption of I'm not smart enough. And maybe it's just about being rejected, having experiences where you're not selected or you're not chosen or nobody invests in you. And what could that make you feel like? That you are not worthy. So all of this is going to be in here, your self-concept. Now, if you're wanting to make a change, it might look something like this. Here's your ideal, cue the angelic music. Here's your ideal self-concept, right? The assumptions are gonna be that you, and these are just an example, remember, there could be all sorts of other different things, but the assumption of your ideal self-concept is you are worthy, and you are whole and complete, and you're capable, and you're deserving. And those assumptions get expressed or they attract situations where there's abundance and there's joy and there's happiness and there's love. Well, when you go through your current self-concept and you're like, wait a second, that's not in here. So this is basically what happens with the law of assumption and how and why it's so powerful, okay? So you got your two here and you might be thinking of that one. You're like, yeah, tapping into that feeling and I'm going to think of being whole and complete and think of what it would feel like to be worthy. But all the time in your self-concept, the, con the contents are still this, okay? So I've got this handy dandy little magnet to see vibrationally what do you align with. So let's check it out. So even though you're thinking of your ideal self-concept, since the contents of your self-concept are the old assumptions, when you go to see Oh no, you're not connecting. Your experience is not registering and you cannot experience the abundance of joy, not because you're not deserving, not because you're not worthy, but because the contents of your self-concept do not energetically align. What do they align with? La -da -dee. Oh, we have got a match, folks. Magnetically, energetically, you are attached. You are being attracted to this because the contents of how you see yourself are directly connecting with these assumptions they connect with those experiences so that's how powerful the law of assumption is whatever the contents of your self-concept are whatever you assume to be true that is what you are going to energetically match with so even though you want this over here you're trying so hard nothing's happening 
But then no matter, oh God, not again. You don't even have to try and you keep getting more and more of this. When you change your assumptions, you will then energetically create space and potential to energetically match or align or magnetize, attract the situations you really want. So now we come to the question of how in the world do you change your assumptions? So let's dive into that. In order to change your self-concept, you've got to change your assumptions. And in my experience, changing my assumptions came heavily by understanding where they came from and why I was so attached to them. A heavy majority of your self-concept came from your early on dynamic, your early on environment. Not only your unique set of experiences that you've had, but also the early on environment that you grew up in. The big thing here that you've really got to understand and take into consideration is you had some sort of caregiver in your life. It could have been a grandparent, a parent, some sort of person could be teachers neighbors whatever some sort of authority figure who was supposed to look out for your safety okay so this person we gotify we put them on a pedestal because at the time we are too little we are too vulnerable we do not have the skills to take care of our physical safety we don't know how to get food we don't know how to get shelter so we're putting all of our chips we're betting that this person knows best even if they have a high dysfunction, even if they're abusive, even if they don't meet our needs, it's better than dying. So it's really important to understand how we were in this environment and the power dynamic here, because this person knew best. Now we also put the emotional dynamics in there. So if you have an assumption that you're not worthy, that could have come, that assumption could have come from, say that when you were a kid, you wanted to connect to your caregiver and maybe they were too busy at work. Maybe they never had enough time for you. Maybe when you went to connect, they just ghosted you. They said, oh yeah, I'll show up, I'll be there. They just were never there. You could have assumed because in this dynamic, this person knows best, so what do you say? Oh, I'm gonna assume that it must be me. I'm the one who's weaker here, I'm the one who's vulnerable, so I must be doing the wrong thing. And this this might not be conscious, but the more you start to think about it, you can start to unravel and take back your power. Because basically, because of this person's opinions, dysfunctions, emotional incapability at the time, you thought, oh, I assume it's me. Must be I'm not worthy. But then that went into your self-concept. The next one we can look at could be maybe you have a assumption that no matter what, everyone's going to abandon you. So what could have happened here is that maybe you're... you're caregiver actually physically left and they just left you all alone no one explained what was going on for one you could have taken that to be about you if i was a good boy if i was a good little girl then then they would have stayed you could it could have also been an emotional abandonment maybe there was a huge inconsistency and you thought oh when i do this then it keeps them there and you became hyper vigilant this could current day look like very people pleasing or hyper fixated on uh, what's going on in your environment just to try to stay safe you could predict people's experiences and make them happy then you'll be okay it can also look like anxious attachment so what that could have looked like is okay i've got to work or earn this person's love because if not I'm going to be abandoned. That assumption came from an early on experience or event but now it's creating perceptional biases or assumptions so basically when you look out into the world right now you don't see it as it is as it is you see it through your self-concept or it could look like this okay well i'm gonna find people who are gonna treat me like i'm not worthy i'm gonna assume that the reason that person didn't call me back is because they're gonna abandon me i'm not good enough on and on and on and on great news is that this is changeable you start to understand oh i've been keeping this assumption that i've had of, as a kid that because of this experience and dynamic I'm not worthy. And I kept finding people in situations because of this early on assumption, the law of assumption. Whatever it is you assume to be true, that is what's going to create your external circumstances heavily because that you can't perceive of anything else. So one thing you can do to start tapping into the power of the law of assumption is to realize this, oh my God, I am living my life based on an assumption or an interpretation from when I was three, four years old. You might not even be conscious of this. 
So the first thing is to understand, wow, yeah, I can totally see my caregiver did the best they could and totally didn't have the emotional capacity that I needed. That wasn't a reflection of you. That was actually a reflection of them, what they didn't have, that insufficiency. So as you start to give that back, you can start to realize, oh my God, I actually have always been worthy. I was confused about this dynamic. When you start to reason on that, you're like, oh, wait a second. That actually isn't relevant. I've always been worthy and I'm gonna add that to my self-concept. And if you look at the other assumption we have up here, abandonment, if you can start to see, oh, actually I can look back and understand as an adult now, my caregiver is going through a lot in their life and maybe they had good intentions and they were trying to help me out of love or maybe they kept distance because they were going through a shit show. Maybe they just totally were in their own shit and trauma and everyone was just kind of a bystander. But what I can understand is, oh, that was the emotional situation from them. It had nothing to do with me. So this idea that everyone's gonna leave because this person was unable to be emotionally consistent and I felt abandoned in my needs, that's one person. So this idea that you're gonna be abandoned from your self-concept, that's out the window. What you, can you replace it with? that you're absolutely deserving of connection. And there are people out there in the world who are happy and celebrate to connect with you. Now that we've gone back and understood why we assumed what we were assuming and we updated it to deserving, abundant, and also we got in here, worthy. So now when we look at our experience and we're like, oh, oh, oh. I'm not getting the same experiences as I did in my, my old self-concept because my assumptions are different. So the energy I am sending out into the electromagnetic field, according to Dr. Joe Dispenza, is not going to align with the old. What's it going to do, you think? Hmm. La -da -dee. Oh, we have got a connection. We are energetically connecting and drawing to us what is in the bowl, the bowl of self-concept. So you're gonna have experiences that are gonna be showing you abundance and joy and love and happiness because that would be in alignment with the energy of worthiness. That would be in the alignment of the assumption that you are abundant as well as the assumption that you are deserving. The more and more you start to do this and change what it is that you are assumed to be true, the law of assumption is absolutely incredibly powerful and can radically change change your life. Change the contents of the self-concept bowl, update them to your true value, and you will start to see a shift in what you attract and what is reflected in your outside circumstances. Understanding the true power of the law of assumption and how you can start tapping into it will radically change your life. This next video right here is gonna show you the one thing that people usually miss when it comes to staying in their ideal self-concept. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. If you like this video, click like. If you haven't done so already, join the community and I will see you on the next one.